Welcome back. Let's now solve this question number 14 in Keller Shell exam simulation for certified Kubernetes application developer. You need to make um, changes on existing pod in the namespace moon called a secret handler. Create a new secret, secret one, which contains a user equals test and pass equal to pwd the secrets content should be available in the pod secret handler as environment variables uh, secret one hyphen user and secret one underscore pass the the ml for um, pod secret hyphen ha handler is available at this location there is an existing uh, YAML for another secret at this location. So create the secret and mount it inside the same pod as um, slash temp slash secret two. Your changes should be saved under this location on this host. Both secrets should uh, only be available in the namespace moon. So the focus is um, on secrets and uh, creating a pod that consumes uh, these secrets uh, in different ways. So let's get started. So first let's uh, create a secret. So keep it in the moon uh, namespace, create a secret of type generic. So from literal, we'll create these secrets user equal to test from literal and pause equals pwd okay we didn't specify the secret name um, the secret name should be secret one secret is now created keep it will get secrets in the moon namespace we have the secret which we just created let's describe to see if we ha it does have the user and pass yes it does let's also verify their value just to make sure it's using the right values get secrets um, output in the JSON path. So usually all this will be in the data. Get secret secret one. Dot user basics for decoded test it looks good let's check the password which is pwd that looks good as well so we have created the secret um, and we have to now work on the pod so they said uh, the yaml for the pod i mean the pod definition manifest is here so even in the real exam, it's better not if you if you are trying to modify an existing resource definition, it's better to create a copy out of it and modify it there. So I made a copy of this uh, with the hyphen new suffix. We're going to make the changes here. So, so it's a standard uh, pod definition file. Um, there are few environment variables. These are environment variables, even if it says like secret key one, two, and three, these are still environment variables. Um, there is, uh, it doesn't have any uh, secret uh, in the spec section. So, let's and do that p 
let's add two more environment variables the name is already given so we have to use secret one user so instead of directly supplying the value we have to refer these values from the secret that we just created so we can use value from secret key ref and then we had to give the name of the secret which in our case is secret one and we have two keys in, in, in the secret one is user the other one is pass for secret on user we'll use the user and let's copy this and reuse the same for another secret so the next secret is environment variable uh, is referred as secret one underscore pass so we are referring it from the same secret but the key is going to differ it's it's the past mm, that looks good all right this looks good so there was a mention like there is an existing secret um, here so we have to create the secret and then mount it inside the pod as uh, pod at um, this path so we have to do that as well so for now i'm simply going to save this file I'm, i have not created the resource yet uh, let's create a new secret which is already defined in this file Okay, secret two is now created. So keep got get secrets in the moon namespace. So secret two is there. Let's describe the secret. It does have secret two. It does have a key. So it does have uh, a key inside it so now let's go back to our pod definition file that we were um, editing and then we have to add um, the secret as a volume on here we have to go back to the pod volume section here and then give it in give it a name uh, let's let's call this a secret secret to volume and we are going to use the secret and the secret name is going to be secret 2 so we have now configured the volume we have to now um, mount this volume inside the container so we have to go to the volume mount section use the mount path and uh, they said them it should be mounted to this path temp slash secret 2 which I'll copy and paste it here let's give it a secret to sure, the same name as we used in the volume so that looks good yeah so that should be the definition so now we have to create uh, this part now We've got a little create in the moon namespace using this part definition file. Okay. 
oh, it already exists uh, so there is a port that already exists so in this case it's uh, instead of create we have to replace the existing port and make it to use these new secrets that we just created so it's better to use the force and the grace period as zero to terminate the existing part quicker. So it has been now replaced. The existing part was deleted and the new part is now created. So the new part should now have the secrets in it. So the secret handler part is created 14 seconds ago. Let's describe describe this. So we have we could see the secret to volume. Secret name, this is using it. And the environment variables that we have already configured. Uh, it does also look good. So to further uh, check uh, the environment variables configured, whether it's, it has really got the actual values, we can exec into the pod and just print the environment variables that has secret in it. So these two, these the first three um, secret keys were already there, hot coded, which we have noticed. The secret one, um, yeah, these two secrets, the user, and the pass is something that we configured these in run variables, but they are actually fetched from the secrets that we have created, and it's reflecting the right values here. And we have mounted. Um, the other secret secret too so let's check the volume mount and uh, so we know this is a volume mount temp slash secret 2 and when we inspected the secret 2 we know that it does have the key So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the key, and it's it's uh, mounted at the right path and right uh, location. So that's it for this question. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.